Today we are going to learn about Mirth filter in JavaScript which will validate if the value of PV12 is in the range of 1 to 1000. For example, if in any HL7 message if the value is like 1002 it usually fails. So it should be something between like 2 or like 55 or like 99 or like 999. So it should be uh, within this specific range. So we will work on this and how to get satisfied by using Mirth JavaScript filter. So if I go over here, I already created a filter and unchecked previous all filters. So even I already built the logic for this in my GitHub and we'll just copy paste and I'll go through this logics. So uh, I gave something like, I gave a variable uh, p12 value and I started uh, parsing this particular message p12.1 you can drag and drop from the message tree which you have if you don't have a p1 over here it will not work so make sure whatever values or like fields or segments you're working on it should be present in your message tree and even make sure some people will not give the complete path like they won't be giving this p12.1 and they will just work on this and they might get a lot of errors so always give the exact value which is present in your tree. The message tree is very very important. Okay, and I declared the minimum value is one and the maximum value is thousand. And we'll test the messages. And this is the basic if condition, which is saying that it should be in the range of uh, one to thousand. It will be true and it will pass the message. If not, it is false. So what we'll do? We'll go ahead and save this and deploy it. So most of the people uh, will be asking like, we don't have PV1 segment in my sample message. You, you don't need to have anything. Like even if you don't have anything over here, that's fine. You can you can create your own P1 segment. Okay, I'm just giving some random values. So we are working on the second field. To make it easy, just type one over here and type two over here. So you will identify that this will be, this will be P12 field. So my question would be like, will this get satisfied? Because it is in the range, it should get satisfied. I'll just copy this and we will expand this particular thing and I'm going to send it. So as we have received 23, filtered 14 and sent it, this is in the range of one to thousand. So it will get satisfied and our sent count should be nine now. I'm just refreshing it. Perfect. It went. Again, once again, I'm sending everything. So people might ask why only two segments? Yeah, no problem. I will undo everything. I want to send all the segments, whatever it is. Bid EVN. So just for example purpose, I took it over here. No big deal. I'll just copy. I'll just paste it. We will use something like the number which is beyond thousand okay so this shouldn't get satisfied because we are exceeding the limit of one to thousand range and I'll send so the filter should be 15 now because it will not get satisfied oh it, it went through and we need to look into the code like what uh, mistake we have done we'll be looking into it so when I look through my code uh, in my GitHub, so this is a mistake which we had done. Just change this particular value. This will get uh, satisfied and I even coming over here and already change it over here. So yep, this is a small mistakes. When we keep on making mistakes, we will keep on learning. So this should get satisfied and we'll test with all consequences whether we'll get the output or not. Okay, I'll just deploy it and make sure it should be working. Now we'll get the values from around, yeah, 1001. So it should get filtered out as our filter is from one to thousand as I have shown here. We'll look into it and the filter is 17. It should be 18 now. Perfect. This is working. We'll send something else like 2000 now and even it should get filtered out. It should become 19. It's working and we will give the value one. So just let me know whether it should get filtered out or not. So it should become 14 
as it's in the range so anything between 1 to 1000 works over here so if you need any other changes like uh, you want to increase the range or decrease the range you can just change this particular value I will copy paste it in the github and make sure this works perfectly without any issues and you can change the field and segment values over here thank you